boxings. So here we go. Welcome back to round number seven. Six, seven. Yep. So five one. Looking for our sixth win. Yep. And this, mm. we've got all our colours, uh, but we don't love seeing that Thassa's Oracle in hand, and we haven't got any of our early plays. So I don't love this hand. Uh, yeah, I think this is a mulligan. I think it's a mulligan. You know, it feels sad. a bit weird, but oh, this, this is, is better, but no blue. Uh, mm. But we've got a cycle. Okay. Uh, I think we can get this. Yeah, we've got a lot of blue sources, and we should hit that perfect on turn three. Do mm. we put the patient rebuilding on the bottom? I think it's either patient rebuilding or the callous dismissal because callous dismissal we've got like the heartless act. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's so. let's put the callous dismissal on the bottom. I'm happy with that. Let's see how we go. Yes. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, we are also streaming this live. So you can uh, head along to twitch.tv slash the winning agenda if you want to subscribe to our tw Twitch channel and catch the next stream. Uh, and also don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube to support the channel. I feel uh, that's, that's great. All right. Uh, let's, Croxa. Uh, Croxy. Croxa can... I think we yeah, can we'll cycle, cycle first. See if, we, see if we hit something useless. Uh, I feel like the perfect goes in the bin. Yeah. 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 Yeah, let's do that. It was perfect or swamp, I think, but... Yeah, I could have gotten behind either one, but I like trying to get to Fashion Rebuilding, and this allows us to not die yep. on the way there. And so. I feel like Red Black's going to struggle to deal with Patient Rebuilding. Yep. Ah, Heartless Act on your mate, Mayhem Devil. Does it feel a bit sad, killing him? <laughs> 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 After all the good work that he did for you? Uh, Castle Vantress, that's going to help. He also killed me. He also killed you, <laughs> yeah, okay. that's true. It's, uh, it's, you also uh, hate him with a passion. <laughs> Yeah, my my actions towards him may, may be described as heartless, I mm. guess. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh. I do. Oh, amazing. <laughs> That's why they pay you the big bucks. Yeah. Um, patient rebuilding is going to hopefully draw us at least a card this turn. Five question chairman. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Then you draw a card for each land card put in the graveyard this way. So if you mill, uh, you, they mill three cards and you get to draw some... Uh, Let's see what we hit. No land. Right. land one land. land. So we okay. get so one we get extra draw. Which but it does turn okay. their, which are their, their yeah, Fiend Artisan into huge. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a few ways to deal with Fiend Artisan in the deck. So let's... If we play that, Start we can still play the Grey Shark. With this. And then... So hopefully they'll try and escape Croxa this turn or something. Sacrifice two creatures, return to a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. They've got nothing that's huge. So we'll probably see an attack here, and I think we want to just trade with Fiend Artisan? They can sack in response. They can use Whisper in response, but they've attacked they've with attacked. it, so that's cool. Yep. So let's get this out there. Yep. Actually, the fact that like they can just get it back with a thing. But they have to sack two things to do that. That's true. That's right, yeah. And if we block this, then this says, yeah. All right. And we take a lot of damage from Fiend Artisan too. Like the fact that it's five power already. Yeah, it's pretty big. So we are hoping to uh, find some things to deal with this current board so yeah we'd like to find a Liliana to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> or and maybe, hydroid crisis or maybe the a hydroid turn. crisis <laughs> yeah alright let's uh, well what are they going to keep if we're Liliana well they get to kill our Liliana because two things will die from this yep unless we tick up but I don't think that that's great otherwise this turn we can hydroid crisis for five which makes a five five and gains us two life yeah, that's all right. But it dies to the Priest of the Forgotten Gods. But they have to sacrifice two other things. So I think that's good. I think let's make a fight fight. Okay. And this way we also get to potentially draw land. Yep. Which we did. And a scry. Which is also useful to put that on the bottom. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I feel okay about this because it means that if they do want to priest us, they don't get to attack with the priest. Yep. And, you know, there's a chance we get to kill something and then Liliana gets to kill the other two things that are left. Mm -hmm. They've also... They're going to get Croxa back. Yep. Uh, the which... question really, I think, is... 
do they want the fiend artisan back using the whisper i mean that all of that's going to depend on how much they have in their hand in terms of whether they've got any things that create multiple creatures they can also like sack the um croxa and like a whisper or something Mm -hmm. and that could allow them to kill this gain some mana oh i see no attacks wow okay that's amazing for us yeah i think it's good two extra cards okay great so cast down destroy target non-legendary creature so it can't kill croxa but it can kill the priest or the judith oh it can't kill judith judith's legendary yeah i think we just kill this priest yep now and see yep. what happens and see what they sack or do we like play the uh do we have enough black sources to play so we we can't play the uh can't play the actress and i oh, can't play the liliana and the yeah. cast down yeah so, so play let's play the actress first yeah because if that's yep. what we're going to do anyway then see what we get yep mm-hmm. i like that that's also another decent blocker yeah it does something and I think we're getting enough cards here that we're actually racing Croxer for cards. Yeah. Pretty effectively. And we've got Ooh, a clock. I do suppose like this, like when they sacrifice two things with the priest, they can actually pin this because of Judith. So maybe that wasn't best to, to cast this first. Maybe we should have just killed this first. Yeah, true. Yeah. But we either get Blink and I Island or Mystery Card. I think we want Blink and yeah. I Island. <laughs> Seems fine. Yeah, let's see what's in the bin. Thought Erasure. Okay. okay. Uh, so we get to play. Cast Down and Blink of an Eye. Yeah, and then Mind Alpha Triome, probably. I assume. Yeah. Or maybe we hold that. Oh, we probably we want that for Black Sources, I think, more than the Island. So we're yeah. happy to discard the Island. Yeah. So I think we can, we can just pass the turn. Or no, because we don't want to give them Priest in their main phase. Okay, I so think. let's do it in their upkeep. Yeah. No attacks and turn. Let's see what they do here. Okay, also, the fact that they let Atrus resolve means that um, the Hydrocrassus is more likely to survive here. Yes. Okay. All right. Ah. <laughs> uh, so we pick priest the only target. That's a good point, actually. So they can sacrifice it and something else to get back a Fiend Artisan. Which, you know, uh-huh. does a thing. They've uh-huh. got 18 cards left in their library. We've got 17 cards. We have two, three, four, five, six mm. pool sources. Yeah, we're not too far away from the Thassa's Oracle. Maybe like three or four turns, depending on how things go with our patient rebuilding. Yep. They've presumably got a fair chunk of lands left in their deck. So how many have they got in the bin? Oh, they would have exiled some though. Yeah, they've got uh, two, in two in exile, exile. and two and in the bin. Two in the bin, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. So presumably about half of what's left will be lands. So flying. Thereabouts. Embodiment of agony enters the battlefield with a possible encounter for each different mana cost among, among non-land the cards in your graveyard. Yep. Uh, and they're pinging, pinging, getting this back. It's a 7 6. Which means they elected not to kill the Hydroid Crisis, which is really interesting to me. Because we can now also blink of an eye the Embodiment of Agonies. End of turn, and then depending on how many creatures they play. Yep. We could look to Liliana, but we'll probably just hold the blink. Well, of an they eye. can also, they can definitely croc her. <laughs> So they probably will. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they do something to try and kill the Hydro and Crassus, but it doesn't look like that's happening. But we're also fine to just not... Uh... Interesting that they chose to sack Croxa there to give him the discard and keep Judith, I think. It was an interesting decision. Especially yeah, well, they, since... they knew that they could uh, uh, escape it, so... Yeah. I feel like it's kind of good to be bashing with biggest with pressure the, on the board though yeah. but we, they also knew about the blink of the eye oh of course yeah yeah so they knew that that was yeah, just yeah. going to happen so because that well was off just... the actress yeah yeah might as well get the value as much as they can so yeah that's obviously what they're really tanking about here as well 
Yeah. Is how to set themselves up so that the blink of an eye doesn't completely blow them out. So we discard the island. Yeah. Take take our wicks of three damage. A question here is: Do we want to just raw dog the blink of an eye in order to have more mana? Two, three, four, yeah, five, I think so. six. One, two, three. Yeah. I think we're, we're probably going to draw cards anyway, so I think we want to be using all our mana. Yeah. Nice. Two ends. All right. So can we win this turn with Jace? We'll be close. Two, three, three four, five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. And this digs three Nine, deep. 10, 11. 11. And we're at 14. 12 with Mindstone. 12, yeah. And that leaves us with two mana. Or one extra mana on top of Mindstone. So not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So we can definitely cast this and... Uh, well, we probably don't want to actually. Let's. No, let's play Liliana first and minus two, at, minus three. At, I think, because we don't care if they kill Liliana on the backswing. Yeah. All right. Minus so. four. I mean. Uh, we lose the Hydroid Crassus is the thing, but I think that's an okay price to pay. Yeah. Well, they get to attack for seven here, which is not great. Seven, eight, eight nine. nine. And we die to Croxa then. No, because we can discard a thing that is not a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's only if you discard yeah, yeah. a land. That's right. This is close, though. It's really close. Potentially would have been better to... Hmm. Oh, does it get small? Oh, because it got... Plus one, sorry, from... Oh, I'm going to kill yeah. the uh, Liliana. I like. That's good. Yes. Ooh. Oh, all right. So we get to draw one card there. We lost one from the... Uh, um, and we're going to potentially draw some stuff here. So maybe we just want to just keep this didn't say please open. And then next turn we just went with Jason Thassa's Oracle for sure. So three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Uh, we're still... Plus we're st whatever we draw off the patient rebuilding plus Mindstone. 10, 11. 11. Plus our natural draw. Yeah. I think we just we can just play the Jace here. Uh, but then it might die to the embodiment of Agonies. Uh, but that's fine. Because okay. we've got... Ah, oh, yeah, then it'll die to the embodiment of Agony. All right. Well, it's past the 10 then. Yep. I think it's better to just hold off the counter spell. Yep. Because we're likely to get at least one land off the patient rebuilding mill. Like one yep. draw. Just hopefully this is not like Bane Fire or something. Is that uncounterable? <laughs> uh, so that we what happened? Doing? Yeah, because discard what? Uh, I think the swamp. But then we take three. Yeah, and we go to two. Okay. We got one, two, three, sure four. One, two, three. One, two. Yes. Okay. We're, we're happy with that. Kind of. <laughs> we just need now make sure we don't get to the point where they can kill us with an instant speed burn spell in our turn. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we need them to hit one land. Yeah. I, I think that that works. We can also Ugin and then wait another turn, but I don't, don't think we want to do 11. That. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So this is three. And then this yep. here is one. All right. So we go this one. I think this hopefully Tick gets up. us there. And then uh, we have eight, eight. so yep. three, three, four, five, five six, seven. seven. And then this, we draw a oh, card. Oh, other way, yeah. you, you added mana. <laughs> 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 Almost got you. <laughs> All right. And we've got, didn't say please mana up. Look at that, yeah. perfect. Uh, which one should we take? This one here. Got him. Nice. Yeah, so we needed them to hit the one land in that middle of yep. three. Otherwise, we might have been in a bit of strife, but also... We could have Ugin with Didn't Say Please up. Yeah. That would have been okay. Yeah, that would have been okay. Mm. Very good. Well, thanks for watching. That's game win number six. Is that it? We're done? So we've got one more win. One more win. To All get right. to number seven. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see, see you soon. soon.